a singles contest scheduled for one ball. Accompanied to the ring by the mouth of the Midwest, Jason Parks, Mario, Andrew Cavallo. The debut of Mario Andrew Cavallo inside of a CSW Southland ring. opportunity to see Mario Andrew Cavello in a CSW ring and he's quite arrogant and obviously he's not very impressed with the people here in Kankakee and this, this Jason Parks is a loudmouth isn't he fellas sounded it's Cavello versus Mulligan a celebrity being referred to as safe from the kind of bell. We have a screech chant in the house. Pleading his case is Cravella claiming that he is not screech. Amalgan has scored huge wins over the past six months against Hunter Payne in addition to Willie the Bomb Richardson. His last CSW Southland victory in December 2013 was against Marco Anthony. And he's hoping to acclaim victory here tonight against Mario Andrew Cavello. Cavello, young, ferocious, has aerial offense and arrogance on his side. He's very passionate about himself as he debuts in CSW tonight. Just like applied by MAC. Cavello with a side headlock on Mulligan. I think all the political pull as of late has been on Mulligan's side. I mean, he's had Johnny Wilde on his side, the Vanilla Gorilla, basically helping him in his battles. He's had a lot of questionable decisions put into his favor, getting title shots and number one contenders matches and otherwise. Obviously, with his big victories recently over Mulligan and Richardson, sorry, Mulligan's wins recently on Richardson and Hunter Payne, Obviously, CSW Heavyweight Championship Gold or Metro Division Championship Gold might be in his future. This is with the right hand. Cravello with a go behind, trying to clasp both of the hands together. Now, immediately trying to grab for the eyes. Mario Andrew Cravello slowly delivering offense. And over the top right hand, definitely a certain mulligan. But he's still standing. Mouth of the Midwest might be celebrating a little too early here because neither of his men have a claimed victory yet. Neither, neither Winchester nor Mario Cravello at this rate. Boot nails Mulligan right. 
Street in the bread basket. Lining up that watch, misses. Cravella to the ropes, ducks the back elbow. Leapfrog by Mulligan, but a quick jab by Cravello. Just a little quicker at this moment as he has Mulligan stung up against the ropes. Sends him in. Mulligan dragging down Cravello by the back of that collarbone, and Cravello immediately topples and falls into the corner. Oh my, he got tripped downwards. He got grabbed by an entire couple of handfuls of tights as Mulligan's head crashes into the middle turnbuckle pad. Cravello with a vicious kick, a running kick, lands on the midsection of Mulligan at the moment. It has now been made official that we have two more matches tonight and both of them are for championships. Huge back body drop and Cravello fell badly on that right arm. He might have hurt that right elbow a little bit. Mulligan clobbering Cravello, picking up Cravello and playing with a body slam. Mulligan with the size advantage in this battle. And the down and one negated as Cravello rotates towards the ring apron on the outside. Jason Park's quite happy about the fact that his man has taken the low road for the time being. Nice block by Cravello. But Mulligan with a block of his own before Cravello goes to the top turbuckle pad and takes the fall head first all the way onto this turf on the ground below. A very thin layer of green turf here at TNT's hitting facility at CSW Southland in Kankakee. Mulligan tiptoeing through the tulips. And Parks is doing his own examination on Cravello's head to make sure he doesn't have any blistering scratches of any kind. Parks still looking all over his head for missing pieces. Oh my, the heads collide! And Jason Parks barely out on his own feet, but he lost his hat. Nasty chop by Mulligan. And Cravello clenching his chest in pain and agony. Another chop. Cravello's going on the world tour of CSW Southland and Kankakee, and he's being obliterated. Now Mulligan crowning Cravello with right hands. Man, he just sent him head first in that chair, I believe. Jason Parks has recovered for the time being in the mouth of the Midwest. Back in the ring, it's Mulligan versus Cravello. Fireman's carry attempted. Cravello lands on his feet. Big pickup. Nice exploding over the shoulder suplex. Cravello hits his first high impact move of the match and it was effective in putting Mulligan down. But Mulligan immediately kicks his right foot upward and gets the left shoulder up. Mulligan on a bit of a winning streak, specifically in singles bouts, but that could come to an abrupt end here tonight at the hands of Cravello at this rate. Trapping the right arm behind the left shoulder for a moment. Cravello trying to roll Mulligan for a second. Is he tapping or is he trying to get the crown on his side? Doug Simmons has determined that Mulligan wants to continue. Reverses the positions. Cravello's shoulders are down for a second. Great power displayed by Mulligan as he deadlifted Cravello's body back to an upright position. A beautiful gut rank suplex. It might be an amateur move, but Cravello was effective in taking Mulligan down with that impressive move showing his strength in the ring. I'm a little surprised that Cravello has been able to muscle Mulligan around with this sort of ease, but he has. And anytime you're in the ring against an unlikely opponent that you're not very familiar with, it could have devastating consequences. Kelly to back suplex, the backdrop suplex puts Mulligan onto his backside. Mulligan counting lights at this moment. And now Cravello right in front of the referee, draping both of his hands and wrists across the throat of Mulligan while he's down. Mulligan laid up against the middle rope. 
still being choked down. And now, out in the Midwest, Jason Parks with a vicious hook collides right into the side of the skull of Mulligan. Cervello being pretty much cornered by the referee Doug Simmons and being read the riot act. And again, a blame choke in front of the referee. Cervello's intentions are pretty clear at this point. What a devastating hook that was. Right to the side of the ribs. Man. This Jason Parks, man, throws a mean right-handed hook, I'll tell you that. Gotta watch out for him on the outside of the ring. Oh, again on the eight ropes. And he just got straddled and taken down again. The MAC, Mario Andrew Cravello. Looking more confident than ever. That victory is just seconds away as he poses in front of the crowd at the top. And now he's shaking all of his backside in the direction facing the camera for no apparent reason whatsoever but his own amusement. Morgan tries to fire back, but again, Cravello's in a standing position. It's like fighting uphill. You can't fight an opponent up from, a, from being down below. It's, it's a very difficult procedure, especially when you're laid flat up on the mat. If you can fight from the ground, you can protect yourself. But now that Mulligan is on his hands and knees, it might be more difficult than ever. Cravella brings him up and delivers a forearm strike. Simmons again letting Cravella know that he cannot allow these attacks to continue while Mulligan is draped up on the ropes at this particular juncture of time. Another night nasty chop. Carvello making mention that he wants to finish off Mulligan. This is Wally with that right hand. And now Mulligan chopping Carvello over and over again. Mulligan center of the corner, floats over. Carvello ducks down. Shoulder blocked by Mulligan. Carvello gets up again. Bobbering forearm shot. And then the leg lariat. Carvello knocked silly for a second. But those killer bee like types have allowed him a chance to get his sting back on. Misses with the big boot does Mulligan. German suplex by Carvello and he landed badly on the back of his head. But he's still in a position of a of dominance to win. But Mulligan hits the right shoulder up again. CSW Southland, the best of the muscled up tough guys, the high flyers, as well as the hardest hitters and great hard hitting action. Heavyweights personified, and in this battle, it's been back and forth between these two as they've been putting on an amazing battle in this ring. And it's all about dominance in CSW Southland. Mulligan, slide buster to Cravello, and finally Mulligan shows signs of life. Takes that drink, there it is, the down and one. He hit that fist drop from seven feet in the air, but he couldn't finish him off right there. Jason Parks was about ready to have a fit on the outside of the ring. So under these circumstances, Mulligan's on his feet, Cravello trying to get up as well. Fireman's carry by Mulligan. And now Jason Parks is on the ropes. He's on the, he's on the ring apron. Bounces down, Cravello rolls him up. Feet are on the ropes, grabbing tights. Cravello has been declared the winner. And Mulligan's been robbed. Cravello has just defeated Sean Mulligan, and he did it by using the ropes and by grabbing tights too. Wait a minute, Johnny Wilde is out here. Let me introduce myself to you. 
The name is Shannon Wild. The vanilla gorilla. Oh, oh, better yet, your employer. And here at CSW, we don't win like that. No, we don't win like that. What's the word I'm looking for? Cheating? No. I'm so disappointed in this match. What do you guys say we make this match continue? I'm actually shocked. Johnny Wild wants this match to continue. Let's ring that bell. Let's get this going. Oh, wait a minute. determined that this match needs to be restarted or continued from where it left off. Takes a quick shot to Mulligan, and now Mulligan is now a house of fire as he's had enough of this man Gravel and his games. Gravel almost collided into Parks. There they go, head first into one another. Parks takes the fall to the floor. There's the hangover neck breaker. Mulligan hooks the outside leg, and Mulligan gets the clear cut victory. CSW history fans are the way people. The Irish are Are being thrown all over the place. Oh, 